Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so your set list is, is cut back a little bit. Yeah, I think that, that we obviously, we, you know, we'd love to play for longer, yeah. but um, I think that realistically, you know, we've got two bands on the bill. We've got to make a decision of what we're going to do. And, um, yeah, we, I think we, we compacted our set down to a pretty tight set, demonstrate so, you know, a lot of what Asia's about and um, quite a lot of what um, you know, our past is about. But we still do that some of the heritage tracks. Of yeah, like the In the Car of the Crimson King, right? Which is yeah, still, I've always, always been interesting, interested in why that particular track in the King Crimson history, because John never played on the original, right? Well, no, that's, that's true. I think, I think the fact is that it's, it's, it's more to do with King Crimson and obviously John's association with King Crimson is for four albums, but it's a very, very identifiable piece by King Crimson. And obviously John has um, performed it He's comfortable doing it, yeah. Countless occasions. Um, he, I think he, he likes to do it, and, and as I say, it sort of epitomizes uh, King Crimson itself, and obviously John's association with it is much deeper than that. And you guys like playing that material too. I mean, it, trying to be able to figure out which ones actually will work for the quartet to be able to kind of to work up is, is also a part of it, right? Because, you know, we'll, the original tracks basically heavy on Mellotron, right? Yeah, well, I think that it, it, it's, um, it gives us all a chance, a chance to uh, stretch out of there. In fact, later in the tour, I think Ian McDonald uh, was, was joining us for a couple of shows. Oh, great! So um, that will add to all kind of gravitas to the reason why we're doing Yeah, the legacy of the Yeah, do some uh, fluid stuff on there, so it should be quite interesting. Great. So I, I want to touch base on the Icon project that you have with John. I know that's, that's taken off pretty much over in, in Europe. It's still kind of pretty unknown here in the States. Especially. That's, that's basically like a, can we, would you call it like a, an extension of the songwriting partnership that you have with John? Or how, how would you call it? Yeah, I think, I think it's, um, it's quite a different um, approach to how we view Asia. But, uh, yeah. Asia's about four people. Uh, Icon is very much the kind of songs that me and John write. I don't think we can necessarily see it's more for Asia, so uh, uh, it enables us to introduce orchestral elements like cubes. Um, and that was a very integral part of that. Um, and female vocals and uh, you know, that, that kind of stuff. But it's a lot more orchestral. I think the kind of way that I play keyboards in those is. So much rock, it's more texture. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's just something that we enjoy doing. It's you know, quite different really from the original. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the signature um, like vocal is yeah. very, very um, present. Uh, you can't really, you know, not getting away from that. But, um, you know, well, I think it's, um, it's, it's a nice thing for us to do because it, it's, it's a kind of release. And, the test of Asia for the last three years has been quite well. So the reason, you know, you guys are at this point with the original line of yeah, I mean, it, it's been I've read a couple of times basically. Steve said something of the, of the point that says, when John's ready to be able to do the band, just let me know and we're all for it. So yeah. what was what was your take to try to be able to jump back in? Well, I think that, that obviously I'd started working with John some years before we got the But, but the great thing is that we are still, you know, we're still keeping it going, and, and I think that 
you know, we're still really enjoying it. I don't think any of us would have realised three years ago when we sat down and had a coming at the game that we would actually have so much mutual pleasure out of it. It's, it's really great. It's, it's really great that um, you guys basically have put it. You yeah. Know, and this however, is, however it worked to get, get it on stage again, because a lot of us missed Asia the first time around. It, it was actually the thing was that the four, four members, the four original members of the group, make a certain sound, mm -hmm. and we make a certain noise together. And really, no other inception of the band or, uh, or any other bands that I've been in make that kind of sound. So it just so, so happens that when we got back together again and we started to play, I think, time again or something mm -hmm. like that, you know, it was instantly recognisable the way that the four of us worked together 25, 27 years ago. Yeah. Was, um, it's, it's a sort of inherent thing. It's very, very strange. you got four guys who, who do sort of you know, communicate musically. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So, um, I was going to say, you know, <laughs> I, I know there's doom coming. <laughs> What's that? That uh, shakes the foundations of any building.